I welcome you to this first presentation of Treasure House, our series of a virtual tour of the images of this church, images which bring us to appreciate the closeness and the tenderness of God. For many of us, the most iconic image in this entire church is the root beam and Calvary. As we contemplate and fix our gaze on Christ on his cross and on his blessed mother, the Virgin Mary, at the foot of the cross, together with the beloved disciple John, the tenderness and the closeness of God himself is so evident to us. His love and compassion for us in our fragile and troubled humanity at this time speaks to us eloquently and also with great simplicity. Jesus, the Son of God, willingly went to the cross and suffered so much for us to save us and to redeem us. And we can visualize and hear Jesus speaking from his cross to Mary and to John. This is your son. This is your mother. Such a beautiful short message from Christ to his mother and to St. John teaches us so simply about God's closeness to us. It also teaches us, I think, that in this new relationship between the Virgin Mother and the disciple John, which has its beginning at this moment at the foot of the cross, there is a lesson for us today in our interaction with each other, to look at each other with great appreciation and with love and respect. And that surely is about looking after and taking great care of each other the best we can. Sadly, this iconic Calvary was not seen by many generations in this parish community in the latter half of the last century. It was designed and placed here by Reginald Fairley the famous architect of this beautiful building when the church was built in 1911. But in the late 1960s, the root beam and the Calvary were removed as part of the redesigning of the sanctuary for the new liturgy. And so for about 30 years, it was missing from here and generations grew up without it. But the opportunity was taken at the end of a major restoration of the church from 1997 to 1999 to restore the iconic root beam and Calvary back to their original position, much to the delight of the community. It truly dominates the nave of this church. It is as if Christ is reaching out and embracing all of humanity and each one of us with his outstretched arms. The crucifixion is by far the commonest subject of Christian art along with the Madonna and Child although the crucifixion was not actually represented in art until 400 years after the event. The root beam and Calvary became very popular in pre-Reformation churches. When Reginald Fairley designed this church, 
he packed into it a great range of different styles of both architecture and worship. If you are counting the number of images as we begin this series, which we are calling Treasure House, then there are three here, of course. There is the crucified Christ, and there is the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. John, but there is also the cross itself, and there is the root beam which carries the Calvary. So you could say that here we have five images, and each of the five is packed full of devotion of this parish community, packed full of emotion as well. Rood, of course, means cross, as in holy rood or holy cross. We also speak here of the rood screens which we have. They separate the sanctuary from the side chapels. And there is also a rood loft, a little choir loft above the Sacred Heart Chapel. But the entire story of this first image in our series doesn't end here, for there is another part of this Calvary scene in this church, and that, or they, will be the subject of my next, my second presentation. Think about it carefully, what that will be. Let us pray together, bowing before this great image for which we have such deep devotion. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world.